Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How is everyone? Today is uh, the day after the blue moon. I'd like to take a moment to uh, thank everyone for watching my video. Some of you did take the suggestion and went back and looked at some of the videos from last year and you're getting a lot of your questions answered. There's something to know about my videos and there's something to know about some of who you are and that is that some of you are out in the front and you're creating, you're volunteering, you're pioneering, you're creating as you go, and you're actually experiencing some of the things. I experienced some things, and I talked about that. And those videos are like breadcrumbs along the trail. There are going to be messages in there. There's going to be answers for you. Today, uh, we're going to talk about a few things. And yes, it's the day after the blue moon. A few months ago, I, I was prompted by my higher self, my union, to uh, get this at the grocery store. I'm not trying to advertise the grocery store. But Blue Moon and uh, this coffee happens to originate in Bailey. And that is one of the places along the third wave. And it was not only prep it was making a connection this was a part of the grid work and a part of the expectancy for this time period so we're on the other side of that blue moon full moon energy some of you going to be in the backwash and you're going to feel a little bumpy for some of you who've really been hard working preparing yourself you're going to find that it's 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 more subtle it's not perceived as much but yet you may still be aware of it the big thing I want to talk to you about today is the lion's gate and this lion's gate is the portal to the power of the heart and it's open from the blue moon to the September and fall equinox now, I want to address something that a lot of people say and they'll say I don't get it. I don't get all these openings and portals. You're not going to get it if you're not reaching higher. You just won't. If you keep retreating, if you keep waiting and not taking certain actions when you need to, you won't get it. And it will still continue to baffle you and be a mystery. But there's a thing to know. If you are a true twin flame, your twin could be doing some of the stuff. And those doors and portals are going to continue opening for you. What does this mean? Well, as you know, we've been elevating here. And you're getting into that higher jet stream of the flow, of the abundance. How do you do it? The how-to I talk a lot about in my webinars. So if you haven't gotten one, check it out. Um, they're available on my website. The other thing I want to let you know is this equinox that's going to be another turning of the wheel. It's another turning of the galactic wheel too. This lion's gate is what it's been called. Um, it happens in the energy of Leo. And this is uh, bringing us into alignment with the heliacal rising of Sirius. A lot of you, and especially a lot of the blue ray twin flame masculine people, not just men, but the ones who ever is holding masculine. It could be lesbian, it could be gay, it could be hetero. You could be a woman who holds the masculine. Yes, you can. And there are people that know that they do. Um, this is when that star system and our system are in alignment with each other. What does being in alignment mean? It means it's easier to pull in all of your energies from there. If your masculine is still sort of seeming like they're stuck in the head, stuck in 3D, get ready. And I do mean get ready because you will have uh, this opening which is actually going to make things just pop open a lot easier. What does popping open mean? I have to be very honest with you here. There will, there will be some chaos before things settle down because things are being put back in order. 
things will be chaotic. It will be breakups. It may be arguments. It could be um, jobs that people are leaving. Trust that this is opening the bigger door for you, the real one that you've wanted. Now, this is also happening in the fiery heart of Leo. And that powers and fuels your own individual truth and your path of the heart. So, I want to let you know, there is a huge push from the universe to take actions. People will be feeling it. It should feel safer. It should feel right. It should feel like the next right thing to do. It should feel like what's right for you. Honor your own soul. You're doing yourself a disservice if you're not. If you're honoring something else that doesn't support you, an old thing, old relationship of whatever kind, we've been passing through the energy of looking at your relationships. Now's the action part. You did the introverted part, now it's the extroverted part. You muddled it over and you're saying, I can't take this anymore. I'm out. I'm getting out. And I don't mean your twin flame. That is what you're not out of. You're out of the old things that don't support your twin flame union. If you're choosing the wrong things, you're going to feel it pretty quickly. And it will make itself apparent. It winds up feeling like it flatlines. It's just flat. It winds up feeling flat energy. It feels like the same old thing. It feels like you did the same old thing expecting the results to be different. And they're not. You're not getting different results. Okay, do something different. Take the actions. Now, the other thing to let you know is this is not like other ascensions. This is not how people have ascended in the Pallades. This is not how we've ascended previously on this very planet. This is not how you've ascended in Neptune or in Mars, some of the places that other people feel. And I know that sounds like so much science fiction, but those of you who are Blu-rays do know what I'm talking about, and you're not crazy. You're not crazy. The very things that we set up and orchestrate are the very things that other people paint and put music to or make a film out of. That's us. That is who we are. Now, we are important in the overall picture. However, we are not the only important people. We are setting things up so that other twin flames from other color rays can continue to move forward, bring what they're bringing to the table. And what's the biggest thing we're bringing? What was that? Love. Love. Love is what we are bringing. You are bringing the love. Never forget that you are the lovers. You are here to be lovers again, the way that you always have been. Some of you are sublimating the love of your twin or the love of your union, your love for your twin into other things. So this, all of your ascension pals, the people that you might meet at... Um, reunions, uh, it could be in classes, it could be at meditations, it could be in a lot of ways. It could be someone who's helped channel for you, it's been someone who's helped guide you or been your spiritual teacher. Those ascension pals will drift away from you and you'll feel it. This is a feeling thing. A lot of it won't be an actual breakup where you say, I'm out of here. You'd stop getting in my face about that. Stop teaching me. All of a sudden you'll just start knowing. And you'll start feeling like you've outgrown those people and you're moving and you feel them energetically drift away. Sometimes it is saddening. There are emotions that go with this. Your heart is expanding and so is your emotional body, your brand new emotional body. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back a few videos and find out what I've been talking about, your cosmic body. Your cosmic body and your cosmic connections and there's details and exercises in my webinars, but this is, this is it. This is the cosmic heart. This is it. We're, you're finally coming into the heart level. All the things that you want, heart and soul. Stop giving your heart and soul to that old marriage. Stop giving your heart and soul to that business. Stop giving your heart and soul to that career, to that education. Heart and soul is coming together with your twin flame. And this is your cosmic heart as well. 
for your cosmic body, for being multidimensional. It only happens with your true love, not in groups. This is an individual, um, I will say this, this is a physically together ascension with your twin flame in private. This is not going to happen out on the floor at some meditation. It's just not. It, it won't. That is not what we're doing. You're not here to be put on public display. And some of you have been on public display many times. Um, and your sacred sexuality has been splayed all over the place. And that's no longer appropriate. It just isn't. From now on, only the new electric divine masculine, which is in male and female gender bodies, as well as transgender people, as well as gay and lesbian. I mean, let's get real here. You do, many people do know someone who is gay or know someone who is lesbian. And while they may not be a man or they may not be a woman, you do know some of your senses are telling you, huh? Yeah, they're kind of masculine. They're the masculine. Yes, they are. Or, you know, that person is the feminine. They are the feminine. Your senses are telling you this is, this is really where you're coming online and you're able to sense these things. There's a whole lot of other senses that are going to come online for you. Not just for that. Not just for that. So this is going to be an amazing time with full support from the universe. There is a huge energetic push to shove a lot of you through this gate, through the lion's gate. Some of you are going to feel it. Some of you are going to feel it like the cosmic two by four. And I myself just came back from Florida. I went to Fort Lauderdale. I did. I actually didn't want to go. I really wanted to go on vacation. I don't. I love to travel. I love to travel. I see things. I look at travel things all the time. But I was having this huge, immense, it was really out of proportion fear of getting on the plane. And there were several things having to do with this. It was for my grid work because that's a secondary grid point for me. I'm in Chicago and Florida, and I actually have a third one in Mexico, but I've been to Mexico. This was to bring everything full circle for all of my uh, Venus energies and Mars energies. What I want to let you know is that if you are particularly a Blu-ray, a lot of you are aware that some of the energy of either you or your twin flame has been sort of parked in a nearby area, you'll feel a connection to Jupiter, Venus, Mars. You've pulled yourself in from further away places and you've been sitting there. And you've been doing this in chunks when these gates and these portals open. So for me, I had actually gone last year to the Gulf side and that is when I concluded and thanked Venus, thanked for hosting my energy, my twin flames energy. Came now to the Atlantic side. It was time for healing the Atlanteans and the Lemurians and also healing my fear from the fall from Atlantis. That was my fear of being in the plane and the plane would fall. Now, never mind what everyone has told me. And a lot of you who have fears, you know this. You know that there is no logic to fear. It is... Um, not logical. It can be survivalistic. It can be very primal when you're in a human body. You feel that you should be afraid of that person or you feel that you should be afraid of that animal. There are predators. And yes, there are human people that act very predatory. Those apex predators, guess what? A lot of them have a Syrian consciousness. They've reached the top of the pyramid. They're at the top of the food chain. They are going to get you. They will look you in the eye and they will instill fear in you. And guess what? Uh-uh, not anymore. We are little by little dissolving this. It's evaporating with these energies. That's what happens. And the divine masculine, the new electric divine masculine, not the old 3D electric that's gotten so distorted and blown out of proportion. And this isn't just men. 
This is uh, men and women. I've seen women do this. I've seen men do it. Where it gets extreme, it's exaggerated. You know, what, what is this? And the new electric is able to take actions without some of those old things. So as people clear their systems, and that's what you're doing. You're clearing your systems. The, your body's going through a process where for your cosmic connections that are deep inside, you're literally clearing your systems. There is a necessity for you to actually be with your twin flame in the physical. Now, from my union, word is on high, and this is what I get, and that's my story, and that's my message, and that's what I'm sticking with, is that everyone who has um, prepared, and I do mean prepared by putting all of your footholds, and there are people who've been holding steady and just saying, I can't see it, I don't know how this is going to happen. Putting your trust and faith in the universe is where it is because it's a combination of when you know, when you know in your heart, you know you've done what you can humanly do, you know that you've done things on other levels, and a lot of you have been really awake at night, frantically busy working 24-7 on a multidimensional level to get it done, get these things done, get the orchestration, get your promises, get your agreements finished. So my agreement was not only to overcome my fear of flying, overcome my fear of the fall. I had overcome that, and I did it by getting on the plane, and I visualized that. I went ahead, I booked the flight. As it came to two days prior to the flight, I... I, my real focus was, please release this fear from me. I want it released from my very body. I actually felt something in my chest open up like, like a weight lifted off and went, and I was like, oh. it was palpable. I could feel it. Something lifted off. Then I had to stop my head because my head kept saying, you know, this could happen, that could happen, that could happen, that could happen. And I'm still getting rid of my old head that tries to, you know, I don't watch the news on purpose because my head will have extra material to mess with me. So uh, the plane ride was as smooth as glass. And I did this mantra that I was like smooth, 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 smooth. I visualized myself as um, my energy was out to the wings and that we were flying and it was almost like, you know, being in the car and you're just kind of going along. A few little bumps. But there were parts of it where it was just so smooth. I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't believe how blessed I was. And yet this was a huge thing to overcome because the year before, my organs had gotten rerouted during the flight home from Sanibel Island uh, where I could feel my kidneys and my gallbladder actually be rerouted, lifted up, lifted up here. And those are things that I've enhanced, and those are things that I experienced that I've put packaged into my webinar so that it takes a lot of the guesswork out. It takes a lot of the, you mean I have to get on a plane to do that? No. So what I do want to let you know is that a lot of people, you know, I talked about this a couple of videos ago. People are hitting the glass ceiling because they're not getting results from some of the things that they're doing. And your twin flame is your twin flame is actually up here waiting to give you a hand. And some of you are still bumping against that glass ceiling. Stop it. Stop doing some of the things you're doing that you think may be helpful or may have helped you in the past. And it's different things with different people. Um, just like me, I had to really trust that I could overcome that fear to fly again because it is critical. I want to go home to where I really live. Uh, that, was, that is my main thing. I want to be again who I came to be. I have one wing. My twin flame has the other wing, and together we are flying out of here. And I do mean that. Um, I've already lived that experience. It breaks are on, and there is one other, couple other things to say about this. 
because this is individual, this is not like any other ascensions. You can't get together with groups uh, in the same way and expect to elevate or do a mass ascension. We are not doing a mass ascension. You're doing individual ascensions and you will show up and there will be assistance and there's guidance right here. You could do it as a self-guided tour like some people do. They're like, I've got my map, I've got my compass, I've got my oar, I'm going to row down this river. Or you could hire an experienced guide. People do different things. So you can do the self-guided one, but I encourage you, get guided through your heart. Not get guided through your head. Some of the articles we're talking about, the messages, are not giving you the actual experience of it. Okay? And that is what you're intended for. Why are we doing this? So that you can return again to an elevated experience of love, not just flesh slapping together. Not just that. You can have that if you want. But how do you have more than that? It requires you to connect to your higher connections and energies. So everyone has had this opportunity. But at this time, only the people who, are pre who prepared and made themselves sure that they prepared. Okay, there are people, you yourselves have made your own self prepared. Okay. Um, the electric has been set forth mostly from Venus and Mars. A lot of you know the Mars masculine energy, but that energy is action. It's not always war. It's uh, going to be the things that are, you know, more than just putting on your cape, it's going to be real actions. Um, not everyone's going to go through this unless they are a true twin flame or a divine counterpart who he has connected with their divine counterpart. And I will say this to you people that are separated physically from your twin flame. Expect, expect, expect. Expect some of it to be magical. Ex and I encourage you, keep doing the work that you need to do, especially the grid work. Get your stuff set up. Get it set up so that being with your twin is easy breezy. You're down to asking each other, hey, why did you leave the refrigerator open? Oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. And you are winding up having maybe some daily tips while you're working on your heart energy. Living how we live here is not how we live in the fifth dimension. And some of you remember, and a lot of us have forgotten, I forgot. I forgot until I started to re-experience myself. A lot of people don't know. And you're seeing a lot of blustering out there in the news. Um, you're seeing people that are calling each other out publicly, having public arguments on social media. All of this stuff is popping out. It has to pop out of those people. It is bringing up things for people, the things that you hear about, the things that people have kept hidden and subversive or been ashamed of. Um, it's, it's abuse. You know, people don't abuse their children in the fifth dimension, and yet abuse still happens here. Twin flames who have children... Sometimes, you know, they don't know what to do. What it will happen to my children? There is a plan, and your children are in on it. Okay. I want to remind you that having the elevated experience of love is only with your twin flame. It's with your own love energies in your union. I want to make a point about Ascension Pals because some of you people are meeting people at groups or encountering them in different places. Some of those people are there to hand you your stuff back. Let your heart tell you. What I suggest that you do, do a body scan on them and really feel where are you feeling them. If you're feeling them on the belly button, that's soulmate. That's a soul group connection. Keep on walking. If your twin flame is having 3D sexual relations with either a girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, 
or casually, one night stands. I mean, let's get real here. There are people that bet each other in bars. Hey, I bet you can't go talk to that ugly woman over there and get her. And that's how degraded some of this has gotten. And if your twin is still having addictions, they're going to be in those kind of energies, in that vibe. How do you drag them up and out of there? How do you get them out of the situation? I actually do cover that in several of my webinars. And you're going to feel the energies in your pelvic area. You're going to feel it in your private parts. Some of it's going to hurt. Some of it's going to hurt your heart and hurt your private parts. And on men, it's going to be your gut. It's going to be the internal private parts where it feels like someone has maybe put something to you that's very sharp and painful. Um, it can feel on other parts. And I cover that in my webinar, pulling, pulling up and even if, even if they're trying to stay where they're at, even if that person is so busy looking down that they can't see and they're not getting up and over or if they're, um, they're at, you know, this meditation, they're like, oh, this energy is so lovely. And I, you know, a lot of times it is lovely energy. It's still not the experience of your twin flame. It's still not the experience of your lover, your true love, your true love of many lifetimes. Many of you are in for real eye-opening, really like so poignant, so beautiful, so divine that it just defies human words. It's butterfly tongues and it's sweetness. The sweetness that you can actually taste and perceive. It's flavors. It's things you've created. It is the poignancy that twines and spirals and you recirculate it and it lasts for hours and hours and it's not tantric. It is a higher elevated multidimensional experience. And Blu-rays do know what I'm talking about because many of you have been experiencing and re-experiencing who you are. You can't make heads or tails out of the 3D person and this, these high elevated experiences. This is it. This is it. This is where the gate opens and things are coming together on purpose for the September equinox. So I encourage you, those of you who know, hang in here. Those of you that really, you're like, oh, I'm so done with this. I don't know. It hurts. Try one of my webinars, seriously, because that is uh, going to give you quite a bit of information packed in, usually about an hour and a half to two hours worth of material. And it's, it has been very helpful to a lot of people. Regardless, it is not only the universe pushing you. You'll find that other human beings push you. And I will say this, apex predators don't only live in the corporate world. There are people that are just waiting at some of these groups to pluck off the people that want all the love and light and lovely experiences. And they will pick up on some of your vulnerabilities or your seeking love. Steer clear of them. If you don't feel that they're the one, keep on walking. I encourage you. You don't need an ascension pail to get to your twin flame. You just don't. Those ascension pails are going to be a shocking drain on you pretty quickly here. Maybe not immediately, but very, very soon. So remember that what we are doing here. This gate powers and fuels your own individual truth and your path of the heart. You will continue to get answers. Um, it really will be time to come together. The call of your soul. You can't be afraid of it. You can't ignore it. It's going to keep calling you and calling you and calling you. Those messages, those symbolics, it's all going to keep coming. You're not imagining it. It's not your mind playing tricks on you. It's actually the universe encouraging you to keep going, keep knowing what you know. You're running this marathon. Don't stop five minutes before the finish line. You know, those messages are there to really show you. You have made a promise 
And I will say this, there's no reneging on a spiritual agreement. I don't care if it takes you a little longer, you'll still wind up doing this. Why not do it sooner? Why not? Why not? And it's irrevocable. You can't cut it away. It grows back stronger because your intent to cut will only cut away the things that don't serve your union, that don't support you. One other thing I want to say that I talked about in several of my webinars recently. A lot of people say, well, you know, they're going back to this. Oh, no, this things are doing a distinct 180 because your twin will not be able to meet up with you, recharge their batteries, and go stick it into some old relationship or their job or their career. There's nothing to hold it up. It's both a there's nothing supporting it under. We've moved it we've moved it over here and the heart is no longer being given to that the heart is here and you're saying come meet me over here come on please come the water's nice and warm right here keep calling to your twin sometimes you may not know what to do but your heart will tell you and you will get the correct actions to take take action yes for some of you that will mean breaking up, breaking away from things. You're going to have some really lovely experiences because you're going to continue meeting the people that are heart connected, where there's no sexual tensions, where they're not old ascension pals, where you're like, do I need to bed them? Do I need to be with them? Do I, what do they have? Just ask for your stuff back. Start getting these things accelerated. Accelerate your own self. I want to say thank you to everyone who has hung in here. We are really uh, going to have some amazing time, uh, really starting now until December. And some of the stories are going to really seem just so amazing. And I applaud a lot of you. For those of you who maybe may have felt that you've had to stay stuck, um, do your inside work, do your body work. That's the best advice I can give you. Get your body ready, show your willingness, show your intention. The outer actions will begin to come and they will be easier for you. Thank you so much. My website is www.twinflamesmerge.com. That's where I am available for readings, sessions, uh, follow-ups, coaching, and I also have my webinars for sale on there. I try to put the most pertinent ones for right now on the front, but they're on multiple pages with a very detailed description. There's things you're trying to figure out. How do I conclude that karma? January. Uh, if you're trying to figure out how do you clear your sexual energy out so that it can't be utilized in a different direction? January. January and all up until now. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. Um, I know that there's several other events right now. And a lot of the Blu-rays are getting through some things so that they can really prepare. Some of you are going on to be teachers um, or guides of some kind. And keep going. Thanks very much. Bye now.